Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas and are looking forward to New Year. The video I'm about to show you is of a pour that I didn't really like that much. Um, the pour, it was fine, it was too nice just to throw away, but I, it needed more, I needed to do something more to it. So I've embellished it and I've given it a really, really cool 3D effect. Um, I follow the artist Veronica Mee and she often shades paintings in colours, um, adapts paintings so that she creates like a 3D effect to the paintings. Um, so I've, co I've followed one of her tutorials step by step and created almost like a woven basket effect over the top of a pour that I've done. So I'm going to show you the whole process, the pour and then the embellishment afterwards. So these are the colours I've got left. I've got three blues, I've got a gold, a couple of pinks, a couple of purples, orange, yellow, there's a Venetian rose and there's some white. Some of them I've got a reasonable amount. I've got a reasonable amount of the yellow, um, but other ones like, or like this purple, there's hardly any left at all. I hate throwing even the smallest amount away though. So I think I'm just gonna layer up a cup um, and maybe just do a straight pour with it. There is some oil in all of these paints, so I will probably get some cells um, and I could torch to deliberately get some cells, which often looks quite pretty. Um, let's just have a think about the order. Um, I've got to be slightly careful with the yellow because obviously if I mix yellow and the blue, I'm going to get some green, which might be fine, but that will dramatically change this whole painting. So I think I'd rather avoid that. Okay, I'm just going to pour some in. I'm just going to go with what I, what feels right. I'm going to start with just a tiny, tiny dot of white. And then let's run some yellow down the side of the cup. Just a little bit. Because the colours that you put in first will be the colours that are going to come out last. So that will be therefore in the centre of the design. That's the Venetian rose. There's only a tiny bit. So I'll get all of that in. Here a 30 centimeter canvas that I want to reuse. There's already a pour on here, but I've applied some gesso just to um, give a blank surface again. Um, I'm going to put. I've got a little bit of white, so I'm going to put that down as a puddle in the centre just to help this to flow. Right. So I'm going to do. What am I going to do? I'm going to do a straight pour right into the centre. Right, pretty happy because my flow extender more or less kept its um it more or less spread it spread its way out so I don't think I lost too much of the design. Um I've got a bit of blue left, so I'm just gonna use that as a more of a flow extender again around the edge. Right. So let's start tilting this. I'm just going to stretch it. I'm just going to push that flow extender right to the edge just to see how far I can get it before I start losing the design at the edges. Right, 
and put a little bit more. I'm just going to use up anything I've got left just as a bit more flow extender. This will all get tipped off so it doesn't matter that these colours will clash at the moment. It's quite nice and fluid, as you can see. So it is moving really nicely. So the paints are all mixed with PVA glue and water. They've all got um, coconut milk hair serum in them. Now, one of the colours is splitting. I'm not sure which colour it is, but one of them is not in, not happy with the rest. I can see the colours are splitting. So this might not work. Right, I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised now by this composition. I actually quite like it, but I'm going to use this sort of as an opportunity to see what the straight pour looks like with cells from the silicon. The paint has split, so I don't, as it is at the moment, I don't think it's really a keeper. So I'm just going to torch it just to see what happens. Torch maybe in the orange, in the bigger areas, chunkier areas. Let's see what happens. So I've ended up really quite liking it and I think it's down to the colours and the composition. It's just so fiery, it just looks like lava, um, maybe with some water over it trying trying to put the fire out. I, I don't really know. Um, it's a bit crazy. The cells are really chaotic. They're not very well structured um, and I think that's just because the paints are quite thin. Um, but it's, there's just some really, really pretty effects. Um, there's definitely some splitting. Let me show you here. You can see it's gone all grainy. But actually, I would never plan on doing that on purpose. But actually, it gives it a slightly more muted effect. And it's everywhere, but subtle. So I actually quite like it. Um, there's some crazy big cells. And then some tiny, tiny little cells. The, the leftover paints, I think, were from two separate pores. So I think the consistency must have been slightly different. But doesn't that look cool where you've got lines next to cells? I really like that, the contrast. And the same there, lines and cells side by side. Um, and here. So I'm going to see, I'll let this dry and see what happens, see, see what I think. Um, I might use it for the base for something. I might like it just as it is. Um, I'm not sure. So if in doubt, let it dry and decide later.
So I've done a couple of 3D pours before or 3D embellishments, but I've always been a bit hesitant as to whether they've worked. This one has 100% worked. I'm totally confident that you can see the 3D. I can see it instantly. My children can see it instantly. I wasn't having to think, does it work? Doesn't it work? I, to me, this works and what a cool painting to do it on. So that cross in the middle, it just looks like it's glowing. Um, it's such a pretty pour. I had thought about leaving the pour, but it just it just looked a bit dull and a bit boring. I just felt that it needed something else to it. Um, so as you can see, I've embellished it with this 3D effect. Now my inspiration from this comes 100% from someone called Veronica Mee. She's got a YouTube channel. She's a brilliant, brilliant artist. And I literally followed her tutorial step by step to um, create this 3D effect. So um, thank you so much to Veronica for the inspiration. Um, yeah, it, what I did with, to create the shading, I used a paintbrush and just dabbed it on. So this time the shading, you can see it's not in straight lines. It's much, it's much softer than that. She used a little sponge, round sponge. I didn't have one. I only had a quite a thick, chunky, really cheap craft paintbrush and I used, but I think it works so so happy with it um so please let me know what you think can you see the 3d does it jump out at you um let me know what you think i'd love to hear your comments great thank you so much for watching please do check out veronica me's channel as well incredible incredible artist great take care everyone bye